Hello, my desktop publishing students. Um, this is the second part or part two of assignment 61, first quarter revenue. And we left off, we had four charts completed, and now we're ready to go and do number um, five. So it says copy chart number three. So here's chart number three. So we're going to go control C to copy it. And we're going to go to Q4 or Q5, right to be in line with these ones, and paste it. Okay, so I'm going to scroll this across so we can work on it. And this is going to be 5, so I'm going to change this to a 5 right away, so then I don't confuse myself. And uh, now, on this one, we are to select the data by selecting A17 to A20. Okay, we got a selected range here. All right. So just one second here. Okay, so we're going, we're on chart number five. We're going to right click, go to select data. And now this time we're going to delete this and because they want us three different ranges here. So we want to take A17 to A20. Hold down your control key and you're going to take C17 to C20 and leave your control key down and take E17 to E20. All right, so you've got all through two, you've got transitional care and advanced care, and of course the titles, revenue, expenses, and profit. So there's what you can see on your chart now. You can see how it's changed, and we just have the two pieces. Now it says size and color, both the category axis and the value axis. Okay, this is the category axis. I'm going to make it, uh, leave it at burgundy, or I'll make it burgundy. I'm going to make it size 12, okay? And then I'm going to take the value axis. I'm going to make it burgundy, and I'm going to make it size 12. <coughs> now, here with the zero zeros, we don't need the zero zeros, so I'm going to go here and go to my options here. Hold on here, number. And I'm going to say accounting format. And we're going to have zero decimal places. Okay, so the chart fits in quite well. And that's what we were supposed to do there. Now it says change the primary horizontal grid lines. Okay, so here's my grid lines. Oh, I got my grid line. Okay, there's my major grid lines. So I want to drop down here and make sure that I've got the, um, now I want the horizontal, and I've got the vertical here, the horizontal category axis. No, that's not what I want. So I want to check here. I want to go back to Format, and I'm going to go here, and I want to choose Primary Major Horizontal. We haven't got horizontal. Okay, so let's go back to design and add chart element and let's take a look. We want the um, grid lines to be primary, major, horizontal. They're already on, so those were the right grid lines. Okay, even though they didn't say so. All right, so now we want to put a color on them. So let's go and use, I'll go with a light burgundy. All right, and they said use a dashed line. So there will be a dashed line. I am going to make them darker so it's easier to see. Okay, so there's the dashed line on the major ones. And now it says show the primary minor. Okay, so add chart element. And I want to go to grid lines. And I want the primary minor horizontal. All right. And I want to make sure that I'm on those ones. There they are. And I'm going to change the color to blue. Just so, and that's pretty. I'll use the lighter blue. There. Okay, so you can definitely see the majors are dashed and the minors are blue. And that was the point that I wanted you to have there. Okay, it says select the value axis. Okay, select the value axis. And it says change the minor unit to, uh, so i got to go to options here, axis options, and set the minor unit 
to 25,000. Okay, set the minor unit to 25,000. Oh, whoa, whoa, I changed the wrong one. Okay, the minor was supposed to be 25,000. And the major, I think the last time the major was 50,000. So let's put in 50,000, because then you can see your lines better. Okay, so now you can see every 50,000, there's the major, and you can see the minor at 25,000. Okay, so that makes it better looking. All right, so now click on your spreadsheet, go control S to save. And this time we are supposed to copy chart number four. Okay, so chart number four, go control C. And we want to go here, go here, and go control V. And then bring it down to level up with, and stay in here. All right, and so this should be chart number six. So take out the four and put in a six right away. And uh, now change it to a 3D pie, okay? So right click, go to change chart type, and we want to go to the 3D pie. All right, say okay, and we've now made it a 3D pie. Rotate the pie, and you can only rotate when it's in 3D. So rotate the pie. So we're going to go around until the biggest slice is at the top. All right, so I'm going to go around here. And the, oh, okay, I'll come back a bit. Okay, the biggest piece is at the top. Format the data series and um, okay, and now here if I um, if I go here again, I could put it a little bit on an angle like that so it looks better. And it said, um, uh, use a pie explosion to separate the pieces of the pie. Okay, so click once on the pie and one more time, and then you can pull the piece out. Okay, you can pull the piece out. So that's how you explode a piece of the pie. Now, we were supposed to, um, now it says change the perspective. So go back here and rotate and change the perspective. just so that you can see it at a different way. All right, so there, I've, we've changed that. And now on your leader line here, maybe it should come down here now that we've moved that. Might look better. And I think then if we're going to move that one, we should move this one um, the same. Okay, um, now use a different... Fill texture gradient and picture for each piece of the pie. So here's the first piece. We want to make sure the handles are only on that. We want to go to fill and you want to um, fill it with a picture. All right, let's just go to online and we'll put in here health and see what we've come up with. Oh, actually, I think this will work well. So insert, and there I put the health picture in. Here it said use a texture, so go here and pick out a texture that you like. And even if you don't like it, it's okay. Oh, that's too dark or too light. Maybe I'll choose that one. Okay, there's a texture. And on the last one, um, let's just use a gradient fill. And that's all right, too. That fits in. That's good. All right, so we've got those done. And now it adds us to add data labels. Okay, we've already got data labels, so we want to change them from values to percent. So go to label options here, and we want not value, we want percent. And use colored borders and colored shading for the percent. Okay, we've already got a fill on there, but we haven't done the border. So let's go here to border, solid line, and let's make it, um, 
Uh, I'm going to go with red. We definitely can see it. And we'll size it up. There. Okay. And I think even our numbers could be made larger here. So let's bump it up like that. All right. That's good. And so now click on your spreadsheet and go control S to save. And we'll look at now. Um, we'll see how mine are. Let's go back to file here. Um, let's just leave on this work on this one page chart. So we, uh, you can do your headers and footers after. I just want to go to print. Now I had put on mine, I'd put on portrait. Okay, so make sure you've got portrait on there. And um, let's check. We got I got two on this page, two on this page. Uh, a little bit close here. And I think that we could have done, we could have put these up higher. We didn't need to be so low. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to bring these up because this is page two. So I'm going to bring these up here and I'm going to bring these two up here. And the same with this one. I'll bring it up here and I'll bring this one up. All right, click on your spreadsheet. I'll go to File, Print. And we've got this one. And then we've got page two. That looks better. And then page three. That looks better. Okay, that's what we'll leave it at. So you get yours arranged. So you can use no more than three pages, have them fitting. And then do your headers and footers on all three sheets. And we'll stop there.